Today I'm going to talk about hybrids and what happens when you use seed that you've saved from a hybrid fruit. Hi, I'm Robin. Welcome to Robin's Container Garden. Eighteen months ago, I had bought all the seeds that I needed for my garden for last year. Except I hadn't because, you know, seeds. <laughs> my husband brought home a couple of really beautiful long red Italian peppers. They were gorgeous and I needed to grow them. So I saved the seeds. Now, I didn't just fall off a turnip truck. That's Arkansas for I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> I knew these peppers might be from a hybrid plant. More on that later. But being the experimental adventurous gardener that I am, I saved all the seeds from one of the peppers. Remember that, one. That will be important later. Now the sciencey bit. Okay, hybrid plants are a result of two parent plants that have been cross-pollinated because they have desirable traits. Those traits may be anything from color, size, flavor, shape, or even disease resistance. And the seeds they produce are the first generation of that cross. So when you save seeds from the fruit of a first generation hybrid plant, those seeds, when you plant them, they may not and probably won't exhibit the same traits as that original plant. What they'll more than likely do is split off and you'll have a trait from one of the parent plants that were originally crossed. So this actually means that they may have different growing habits. They may produce fewer fruits and they may be less vigorous when they grow. So if you're growing hybrid plants and you want to grow those same plants next year, your best bet is to buy new seed or new plants. Most seed companies will mark their seed packets with F1. That actually tells you that's a hybrid plant and you're probably not going to get the results you're expecting if you save seeds from any fruit from those plants. However, if you're adventurous and you like to experiment with things like I do, then it's fun to see what kind of results you're gonna get if you plant seeds from the fruit of a hybrid plant. You never know what you're gonna end up with. I planted seeds from those big, long, gorgeous red Italian peppers. And I ended up with three plants from the saved seeds. So two of those plants actually were a lot like my Anaheim chili peppers. And they were small and they were plentiful, but they were a little bit wonky. That's Scottish for crooked. You gotta love a Scottish word. But the third plant that I planted ended up having a longer, straighter fruit. And I thought, finally, I'm gonna get my amazing, beautiful, long, straight, red Italian pepper. So I let it grow in the Scottish summer sun and it continued to grow and ripened. I thought, finally. And in the end, my beautiful, long, red Italian pepper was a beautiful, long, yellow. Italian pepper. See, what had happened was that because I grew fruit from a first generation hybrid plant that I had saved seeds from, two of those plants took on the characteristics of one of the parent plants and the other one took on characteristics from the second parent plant. On the one hand, I had a plant that bore a lot of fruit and it when it ripened it turned red but it was smaller and it was wonky but on the other hand I had another plant from seeds all from the same fruit by the way I saved all the seeds from one of the peppers which produced fewer fruits but they were bigger and they were nice long and straight 
and yellow. Both fruits were good, don't get me wrong. I did prefer the yellow fruit because it was tasty and juicy. You know what's coming next, don't you? <laughs> so I asked myself, self, I wonder what happens in the third generation. What better way to find out than an experiment? Y'all are gonna have to start calling me the Frankenstein gardener. Francesca Stein? So what I've done is I have taken the seeds from the yellow pepper that I saved last year and I'm going to grow those to see what I come out with. Will it be that yellow pepper that I got last year? Who knows? The only way to find out is to try it and see. I'm also going to be planting two seeds from the saved seeds that I planted last year that got me these two different results. Keep in mind, we won't know anything about how this experiment is gonna work out until one, those plants start to fruit, and two, they start to ripen. So if you don't wanna miss any of those things, subscribe below and hit the little bell so you get all the notifications for the new videos that are coming out. Also, keep in mind that if you save seeds from things that are not hybrid plants, that are open pollinated, then the chances are of getting the same thing that you planted are pretty high. So do keep that in mind. This is all about hybrids. So it's March and I have finally started planting. Yay! <laughs> I have planted some aubergines and I've of course planted my peppers. These are the seeds that I've planted already. This one is uh, an aubergine, which is called Listada de Gandia. I planted that one last year. This is a new uh, aubergine for me. This is the Rotunda Bianca. I haven't tried this one, so I don't know if it's going to turn out, but I'm going to try it anyway because I like to try new things. I'm also going to grow the Anaheim chili pepper that I grew last year. I'm also growing the bell peppers that I grew last year called Yolo Wonder. Those are the traditional kind of what people know of as bell peppers, this kind of squatty roundy things. Now these are the two seeds that I saved from the, or these are the two packets of seeds. This one was the seeds that I saved from the supermarket uh, purchase. And these are the ones that I saved from the yellow pepper last year. Now, Gardner Scott said that if you're harvesting seeds that you don't know what the variety is and you want to call it something, then just name it. So I've named these two. This one is the Mysterio d'Italia. Now this one is the mystery bell pepper that is the Italian pepper and I have no idea what it is so that's why it's called Mysterio d'Italia. And then this one is the yellow pepper seeds that I saved from last year. And I'm going to call these pepperoni giallo, which is Italian for yellow pepper. And I know I have just slaughtered that, but those are my peppers and my aubergines. And in last week's video, you might remember that I planted some uh, veg in the in these little milk cartons uh, that I called mini greenhouses. So I just wanted to give you an update on those. So these are the lupins. So you can see that there's some seedlings down in there. And there's the black Tuscan kale. They're not very big seedlings, but they are there. But my favorite has to be these Pak Choi red stem. I've not just got germination, I've got little baby plants in there. And that's pretty awesome. And unfortunately I do not have flower sprout um, seedlings and the white stem Pak Choi is not big enough to really show off yet. Okay, so now it's time for the big question. Have you ever planted seeds that you harvested from a hybrid plant? What were your results? I need to know, so tell me down in the comments. If you'd like to support my channel, 
I'm selling these t-shirts and a few other designs over on my shop. Now the sh link to the shop is down in the description, but I'm also going to put it down here on the bottom of the screen. And if you've bought one of my t-shirts and you would like to see your picture on my channel, send me a picture in an email down in the email address below in the description. It's also just right here, robinscontainergarden at gmail.com. And I'll put your picture on my channel in a future video. And remember, <laughs> you don't have to grow all the things, just grow something. Take care. Bye, y'all.